The two candidates vying to replace Boris Johnson as UK Prime Minister have debated in front of undecided UK Conservative Party members. Liz Truss claimed a UK recession was not inevitable, despite warnings from the Bank of England, as Rishi Sunak pushed back against accusations he stabbed Boris Johnson in the back. A decisive moment in the race to be the next Prime Minister, arriving as ballots land on Tory doorsteps. Liz Truss, the undisputed frontrunner. Hey, Charlie, you're right. Rishi Sunak struggling to close the gap. Tales never fails. Do you want to go first or second? I want to go first, please. There we go. An early victory for the Foreign Secretary, but under the studio spotlight with more than 60 mostly undecided party members, the tough questions began. The Bank of England have said that a recession is inevitable. What could you do to Im mitigate the impact of this? Well, what the Bank of England have said today is, of course, extremely worrying. But it is not inevitable. We can change the outcome and we can make it more likely that the economy grows. Liz Truss wants to be seen as a candidate to change the course. Her own path, though, hasn't run straight. You were a Remainer, and now you're not. You supported uh, Brits to fight in Ukraine, then you didn't. You wanted to build on the Green Belt, and now you don't. You wanted to abolish the monarchy, and now you don't. You wanted to arm Taiwan, and now I'm not sure if you're saying whether you do or not. You wanted civil I'm servants... I'm we, we do provide them okay. with those... You wanted to cut civil servants' pay in the regions, and then you said you didn't. Will the real Liz Truss please stand up? <laughs> OK, yes. You know, I have. I have, you know, developed my views. I've considered okay. things differently. And I also listen to people. OK. And I, and I think that's important. Hi, Dave. Yeah, have a seat. Brilliant. Then came the turn of the former Chancellor. Is there a point that you would stand aside in this campaign? The quick answer is no. And that's because... Well, thank you. <laughs> and Rishi Sunak hasn't been forgiven by many in the party for turning on Boris Johnson. You unite in Boris for your own interests. That's the there you go. The right. It's simply impossible for a Chancellor and Prime Minister not to be on the same page when it comes to economic policy. You've been campaigning for a long time and it was perfectly timed, a cynical motivation to try and get you into number 10. No, so that's, that's just that. sim simply not true. So I was due to give a speech with the Prime Minister the next week, and in the conversations about putting that speech together on the economy, it was clear our differences were too big to reconcile. Okay. So that was the reason. Plus, I think, let's not, we'll not look at the, the bars with rose-tinted spectacles here. Everyone remembers what was going on with Chris Pincher. The ballots will decide the next PM. Last night, just a show of hands. It looks to me as though Mr Sunak convinced you far more than uh, Ms Truss. He may have won the room and delivered on the detail, but this contest will more likely be decided on Tory instinct. On that, the Foreign Secretary remains on course to be the next Prime Minister.